In this video, we're going to go over the cursor property in CSS. And I've listed out all the values here that you can use for the cursor property. Now, the default is just that. That is what the browser uses by default. And you will recognize, of course, the very famous pointer. And you will recognize the hand icon when you place the cursor over a link. And you will recognize the text icon you get when you place the cursor over text. But these can all be overrided by the cursor property. And that's what we're going to do. So first, let's override the icon that gets displayed uh, when you hover over a link. And so we'll go down here to the hover rule set. And you just type in cursor. And let's pick crosshair. Let's try that. So we'll just go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page. And now we get a crosshair icon when we hover over our button. Now we can also change the icon when we hover over our main section. And so let's put a cursor property up here. And let's switch this to help. So we'll go ahead and do that. And let's do a save and a refresh. And now you see we get a help icon with the pointer. And you may want to use that if you have a help section. So you want to just let the user know that they're over a help section. And so you get the idea. You can use these different values. Now you can actually turn off the icon altogether. And you just use the none value. So let's do that down here. Let's switch this to none. Now take a look at this carefully. I'll move this pointer up slowly and you will see the icon disappear. And now I'm over the button and you see no icon. So that's one way to remove icons if you don't want them displayed. Uh, let's try the move value. And now we get a move icon. And you may want to use this if you allow somebody to move an element. I'll actually do a future video on how to do that. If you allow somebody to move an element within your web page. And that gives them the sign to go ahead and do that. Okay, that is going to do it for this video.